Hello friends, welcome to BISPTradings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I will be going to tell you how to perform Twitter data mining through our programming. So first of all I would like to thank you all of you for liking my R programming videos and one of the video which is getting very popular in on YouTube channel that is Facebook data mining using R programming. So this is in continuation on that in continuation of that I would like to perform the data mining from Twitter by using R. So in order to do that first of all we should have uh, application or you should have a Twitter account if you don't have so so first of all please register a Twitter account please create a new Twitter account and then open apps.twitter.com and here create a new app if you are a newbie for this Twitter once the app is created there are a few options which we need to take care of so first of all we need to look for the access level we need to set the access level by going into permissions so as you can see here I have given permission read write and direct messages because I would like to read all the tweets which are tweets by me or which I have been received or the Twitter's whom like from the accounts whom I am following then consumer key is required consumer key and consumer token is necessary so to get the consumer key and consumer token first of all let's look at the options one by one so first is setting and in setting we can set the organization name application name that's the application name BSP app that's the description website so I've given URL www.bispsolutions.com then callback URL is not necessary if you want you can give callback URL then as you can see here I have set the application logo as a BISP organization name organization website and so on so I update settings and the next option we have is key and access tokens in this section we will be going to set the consumer key consumer secret key access level permissions that's the owner and that's the owner ID and also we have an option here to regenerate consumer key and secret and change app permission so as you can see here I've got the access token and access token secret so make sure that once you have shared the access token and access token secret and consumer key or consumer secret with anyone make sure to update it don't forget to update it so once I have got all the options I have got all the tokens and all then I will be going to writing the code in R programming to extract the Twitter to tweets from Twitter itself. So let's have a look how we are going to do that. So to demonstrate this solution, I'm using R Studio. You can use R Interpreter as well, but I'm using R Studio because this R using R Studio is pretty easy, and by uh, from R Studio we can generating scripts and the output we can. Look at the outputs in the same screen as well. So the very first thing we have to do is we need to install few of the packages. So the required package for performing data mining from Twitter. The first is the Twitter package. So I'm going to install package T W I T T E R Twitter install. And as you can see, it's saying that is the package has already been installed. So I'll just say yes and it will be restarting our session and so I'm installing packages we can use this option as well install dot packages Twitter run it so it will install the package if the package is already been installed it will update it the second package is stall dot packages is R J Sonio install dot packages string R install dot packages R curl 
store dot packages uh, that's all Twitter are I have already installed so we need to install these four packages and once the package have been installed we need to set the library library Twitter library so second library is R J R J library string R library R curl and then I'm going to run execute these commands so you can see the library has been set library library for R curl library for string R and RJ Sonio and Twitter R next we need to create four variables so I'm going to create consumer underscore key consumer underscore secret access underscore token access underscore key and we need to set the values we need to store the values for consumer secret key access token and access key so I'm going to copy paste the consumer secret so that's my consumer secret so I copy this consumer secret here consumer that's my consumer key that's my consumer secret and I'm going to create paste the secret then I need access token so that's my access token paste this access token and access key access key and then I'm going to execute them one by one I simply run them so you can see we have got four variables here with the value next I create one I use a function setup underscore Twitter underscore so this function basically it wraps the oath authentication handshake functions from the HTTR package for a Twitter R session so here I'm going to pass all the values consumer key comma consumer secret comma access token comma access key basically access access token or access key or secret it's one and the same thing once you execute this command it will ask it will ask for your confirmation use a local file to catch oath access credentials between our session so you need to you have to choose one or two if you select one one means yes it means you are giving permissions to use a local file to do the caching if you say no it, then it will do online one so I'll give permissions yes so it's executed successfully it means there will be no error so if you execute the same command again same function again you'll get a message using direct authentication it means now next time it will be using the secret codes and all which will be stored as a cache on a local system next there's a function and by using that function I would be going to extract I will be going to extract the tweets from my Twitter account and the Twitter will be based on Salesforce so I write SFDC underscore tweet I would like to find out that what's what's the total number of tweets have been done on uh, which contains the keyword as a Salesforce so search Twitter and I would like to search of Salesforce and simply run it and you can see I got a message list of 25 so by default list of 25 and if I simply convert it into data file so SFDC I want to convert it into data frame so SFDC underscore tweet dot data frame and it will be converting so TW list to DF 
and sfdc underscore tweet and run it. So you can see it, it will it has been successfully converted into a data frame. And now if I look at the data frame, I can look at the tweet and the total number of tweets we are getting is 25 and uh, it will be getting the tweets from the current time. So that's how we can read the tweets. Now, if I would like to restrict the tweets because by we are getting here 25 tweets, I would like to read more than that. So here we have an option here in this search Twitter, Twitter function. So in this search Twitter function, I'm going to customize this to the search Twitter function. So I simply pass here comma and I want to read 5000 tweets. So N is equal to 5000. So it will start reading the tweets. So that's that's the limit. So this will read up to 5000 tweets. By default, it reads only 25 tweets or the specific time. So you can see here it will take time to read all the tweets uh, because the total number of tweets we are we want to read here is 5000. So it will try to read all the tweets as much as possible. And when, whenever it did not found the tweets, it will stop the process and it will show the tweets which have been recovered by using this search Twitter function. So you can see the operation has been completed successfully. And if you look, if you look at here SFDC tweets, so I'm getting 5000 elements, 3.1 MB total size 3.1 MB. So I simply convert into, I'm going to convert them in as a data frame. And once it gets converted into data frame, we would be able to look at all the tweets in tabular format. So again, it will take some time to complete the process in transformation because the size is bigger. So you can see here the operation has been completed successfully. And if I expand it, if I view the table, so the total number of tweets are 5000. And it will be getting the numbers. All the tweets starts from 2613 at the morning this time till to uh, at last at 5000 so it read 5000 tweets now if i would like to read a specific number of tweets from a specific date so there's an option here and uh, that can be done by passing parameters so i'm going to pass few parameters here like there's an option here we call it as a since basically since it will help us to restrict or to read the tweets based on certain within certain dates. So I'll give a dates. I would like to read all the tweets between 2006, 13, current date, to until 2016, 06, 12. So I would like to read the tweets till this. And Let's make sure that everything, all the brackets close successfully and then I'll run it again. So I'm doing one thing. I'm removing this numbers and I'm simply running this particular tweet. So if you are getting this, it means it will not be returning the tweet from this date. Customization. Let me check it. So, if you can see here, I simply pass a attribute here since 2016, 6, 11, and if we look at the data, I've, I've simply converted into uh, data frames. And if I look at the data frames, it will show the values. So, it is showing all the values since 2000. 16 6 11 of June till current date current date and current time so I'm just removing it and I'm just passing n n is equal to 5000 or let's say increase the number because it will take time to load that's simply that n is equal to 1000 
and then convert them into data frame done and now what I want is I want to calculate I want to find out what how many total number of tweaks have been accessed or we have been recovered so for this n dot tweet length of sfdc underscore tweet and run it so 1000 tweets are there and from that from this data frame if you want to print any specific value we can do that from a specific column value from a specific so that's all in this video i hope you found this video interesting to perform the r data twitter data mining using r if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bsptraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on r programming you can connect with us for the customized training on our programming keep watching have a nice day goodbye